Your boy Sharp HD here. What's going on, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a, uh, a tutorial on an effect that is uh, not not often used, but it looks really nice when it's used. It's this right here. This uh, this cloud sort of text effect. It's not really a text effect, but you know I really don't know what to call it yet. Um, so it's like a cloud f effect transition thing and it sort of wiggles and uh, some people put text on it so people use it as a thought bubble I mean I would use that as a thought bubble but I really uh... I, I didn't have time I was just using this as a uh... as a uh... Um, what are those things called where people use things to show it to you um... <laughs> sorry I have a brain freeze right now as an example yeah sorry I'm using it as an example to show you I would have done more with it I'll show you how to make a thought bubble with it, and I'm going to show you how to make it in general, and what it's good to be used for, and um, this isn't the best clip, it's a quad striker feed, but um, uh, I was going to use that as a leftover since it's a striker, so I um, just decided to use it for this since I really don't have any uh, other clips that I would want to use for it. And uh, so yeah, just before we get into this, I'm going to explain to you uh, this account right here, Sharp HD. This is a channel you're going to be watching it on right now. Um, I was planning on just uh, leaving this account to uh, just sit there and rot and not be used anymore. But everyone was complaining to me. Everyone was like, "Why aren't you using this account? It, it was really good. It has 205 subs." And um, uh, I was like, alright, I'll start using it again. Uh, basically, I, I actually have it all right here. So I was planning to just use this channel as a backup if something happened to my new one, Too Sharp. But everyone was telling me that I should use it. So I have decided to use it and show you my editing trips, tricks and give you some tips. Also, use it for commentaries, tests, and just for some hit markers that I'll get every now and then. So, uh, yeah. That's basically what this account is. It's going to be you know my two sharp account this um... it's basically gonna be um... it's gonna be for all my main edits and stuff like that and yeah so sharp hd back to here so um... i'm ready to show you the test uh, i'm just gonna give you guys an example real quick hold on Alright, yeah, sorry, um, I had to pause that because I had noticed that I didn't have a example to show you, but I just made one, so, yeah, here's what it is. Oh, wait, nope, wrong one. <laughs> this one. So basically, I know that's a horrible edit, you could say what you want. But the main thing right here is this blinds right here. This is what I'm trying to show you. See, it says two more because I need two more for the quad. Get it, guys. Get it. So, um, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to. I'm just showing this to you now. It was a quick little edit, but it's not supposed to be that good at all. So, um, uh, I'm going to. I'm probably gonna make. Yeah, I will make a better, way better edit. Oh, with that same clip, same, different music, different color correction, but with uh, using blinds, the blinds thing. So, yeah. Wait for this to open. Sorry, I just had a bagel, well, a, a bite of a bagel. And, um, so, yeah, oh, yeah, here's the part of the O's. And so, first, I'll be showing you how to make the blinds. Mm. It's basically just from a white solid and a transition, actually, believe it or not. It's called Vert Ven Ven Venetian Blinds, yeah. <laughs> and so, what you do is start a uh, new composition doesn't matter how long it is you wanna go to layer new solid make sure it's white oh shit um yeah make sure it's white uh yeah you got a white solid mm, it's pretty much the easy part you go to effect transition 
uh, Vanity and Blinds, it's the bottom transition. Uh, and drag it down to about here or here, this uh, direction thing. So you have the blinds basically facing in a direction that you want. But it really doesn't matter right now, you can make them face basically any way you want um, after you already rendered that out. So it doesn't uh, make the uh, transition completion about 70 or 60. Let's see. Save up between 65 and 75, so like 67 or 70 would be good. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with 70. And then what you want to do is zoom in. First, bring the render loop things. I really don't know what they're called, but bring in the project things right here. Um, just to one part, doesn't really matter where. Bring it in and make sure. Oh shit. Zoom in, zoom in all the way with this thing right here, and bring it for one frame. So I have it at 34 between 34 and 35 frames. So basically, you have one frame that's going to be rendered. Um, control Shift Slash, or you can just go to Composition at that Render Queue. But I click Control Shift Slash Slash. My bad. And delete these so they don't confuse you. Um, None of this is going to be the same. It's going to just say lossless settings, but I have all of this with alpha. Um, you want to go to format, uh, JPEG. Some people are going to be like, oh, why aren't you using PNG? It's the best. It's not, well, it, it, it could be the best in some ways, but it's going to, it changes the way things are rendered. It makes it, it's like when you're doing a background and you render, and you have to render something out in Cinema 4D to make it, uh, to make just the text be there and like the background of it is just invisible um, that's what PNG does and JPEG doesn't do that so you do want JPEG and so click OK uh, let's render this out pictures just name it blinds and then save and then render it'll take half a second and then, so now, um, I'm just going to delete what I have here. And what you want to do is, you're, you, you, uh, I, I suggest doing this with the Twixter area of an OS or something, or a clip. And here's my Twixter part right here. Right here between 5 and 7. This one right here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what you want to do is shit what did I just do sorry let's just go to pictures uh, get your blinds in here it's gonna it's always when you render it out it's gonna make one of these weird numbers there it's really dumb let me exit out of this and so you got it in here right blinds delete this one uh, blinds and what you want to do is just drag it to wherever for now and you want to go to effect keying color key and go to this and drag it all the way down to the bottom left corner or you could just go to s make a zero and b make a zero and then click ok so this is gonna it's gonna look really annoyingly fuzzy so you're just gonna drag it up to drag color tolerance on color key to like 13 or 15 yeah, that's good. And then maybe even a little higher. Yeah, that's good. So uh, what you want to do now is you want to leave it like that and actually make it a little bit smaller. Bring it to about the area that you want to do this in. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before in the same area. Uh, I'll show you how to make the... the um, uh, thought bubble. Um, so what you want to do? Zoom in a little bit. And come right here, and click on this thing. It's between that rectangle tool and the text thing. Click on pen tool, and shit, my phone's ringing. 
Sorry, just let that go. Okay, it stopped. My mom answered it. So, um, you wanted to zoom in, and we'll do a thought bubble. So we'll do the first little bubble. There's usually like one, two, and then the third one is like a big one. So we'll do that. Um, we'll start here from like the corner. What you could do, go like right here, then go right here. And no, it doesn't look like a bubble. You just drag, you click on the this, the box that you just made and then drag out. And then you use these things to make it curved. And then, and then we could go like this. And then go like this. I want to kill everybody in the world. Alright, so that's that. And then what you want to do is uh, drag this in again. And then I should have done this before. Um, do the same thing that we just did. Color key. Do that. And then make the color tolerance about 20. And then control C and then control V. So it copies it and pastes it. And then let's do it once more. So we have this and then we have this one. Um let's just make these ones go away. They're pretty annoying. Make this one a little bit smaller. So we're gonna have the next little one be like right there. And I'm recording, right? I would have been really annoyed if I wasn't sorry. Um, zoom that in. Now we're going to put one like right here. And do the same pen tool. Make a little bit of a bigger one. And then do this. I want to kill everybody in the world. Won't. Uh, and then you got your second one. It, it, you just gotta make it some sort of cloud shape that, in a way that you you would think it looks like a cloud or a thought bubble sort of thing. Cause there's really no way that I could tell you exactly how to make the shape, but it's basically just how I'd show it to you, like in that general form. And then you're gonna do that. And then so let's get in. Just click this little thing right here to see it again. Cause I made them go. Shit. Hold on. Don't click anything. Click on the arrow. Um, make it smaller. And probably gonna do another one. Uh, I think we could probably just do one right here. And this is probably gonna be this one. Be, be the big one, so we could delete that. Then um, click on the pen tool. And we're gonna make a big one this time. And we're gonna go one. Two. What is that? I don't know what that is. What's going on? Just click on that. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. What's going on? Oh, because I'm not doing it on the blinds. There we go. So we're going to have one like that. One like that. Hold on. Let's drag that out like that. One like that. Like that. One like that. One like that. And you use these little things right here that are basically just like that to control the shape. Done that, but we wanna. Oh shit, hold on. Click on that. Zoom in because it's not gonna let me do this. Like that, and like that. There you go. And so now I'm gonna click on this because I want to make it a little bit bigger. Move it somewhere like right here. Make it bigger. There we go. There's your thought bubble. That uh, sort of looks like one. It's pretty good. So there's your thought bubble. So it's basically like your player is thinking in his head, I need one more or two more. So, um, you want to go to this and just drag box right here. 
and it would type in whatever you want you what else you could do is have like this just this one this one bubble right here um like on a claymore if someone's doing a claymore cancel trick shot or but right now for a kill feed you could have like have what i'm doing like one you could say one more or two more whatever wherever it is that you're doing the twixter i'm just going to type in two more exclamation point and then i'm going to grab my arrow and then Alright, so now here comes the wiggle effect. What we want to do is click on one, two, three, control click on all of them. And uh, actually, I might want to click on the two more. Also, click P and then con Alt click on position. And then right here where it says transform position, you want to uh, backspace that, type in W-I-G-G-L-E, wiggle, and then open bracket, um, let's try 315, so what this means is it's going to wiggle three times every 15 frames, um, that's really the best way I can explain it, but yeah, you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna do uh it it only did that for one so you're actually gonna have to do this for each one um do that and then you want to click on your text again click r on your keyboard uh alt click on the keyframe button type in wiggle and then um i do like open bracket two comma four so it wiggles to ice or rotates twice every four frames. Mm. And so you did one. <laughs> um, now for uh, I think what you can do is click this. Let's go. Uh, no, you got to do it separately. So close that one. Uh, Alt click. Wiggle. Uh, three comma fifteen. I think that's what I did for the last one. And then uh, click on blinds again. Click R. Then Alt click wiggle. Um, wiggle and then two comma four. Then there. And then, sorry, alt click, wiggle. Uh, I'm gonna change this one up a little bit to comma thirteen. And then click R, alt click. Um. Oh, sorry, I gotta type in wiggle, wiggle. Mm, three comma. So I did four for the last one. We'll do three comma six. And then close that one. Then we're on the last one. You're on this. Click Alt click. Wiggle. Um. Three comma fifteen. That looks good, and then click on here, R, Alt, click, wiggle, and then, hmm, 2 comma 4. So now, um, next thing you want to do, I totally forgot about this, go to the beginning of your Twixter clip, and you just want to drag all of this, like right here, just drag them all evenly. Um. Also, one more thing. While I'm, I well, before I forget, um, I need someone that does that's really good at GFX to make me a new logo that just says Sharp HD. If anyone could, uh, private message me on YouTube. Um, because 
this isn't going to be my Mage Sharp account for YouTube anymore. It's going to be just my my editing account. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you could uh, make me a logo that just says Sharp HD, just message me or send it to me somehow. And so um, the one thing I didn't do <laughs> before is um, want to click O? No, Control Z. Don't click O. Um. Um, just go down, go to transform, then go to opacity, and we'll go to like the beginning of each one. Snappers, what is it it's doing? Oh yeah, you want to go to the beginning of it, by the way, and go to right where it starts. Then you want to go to opacity. You want it started at zero. Click the keyframe button, go about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then I'd say 100. And then go to the end of it. Uh, let's find where it ends. Um, go about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 frames before it ends. Click this right here. Then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then go to zero so now it fades in and fades out and what you want to do is just highlight this click control C and then go to this one click control V so now if you look the opacity things are going to be there too and then click on this one click control V and then click on this one and click control V so now all the uh, opacity things that we just did for that are here too but, uh, I'm retarded. I forgot to tell you, you have to go to the, the end of the clip to do that. So just drag all the keyframes right there. Or one more back. There you go. And I'm sorry, this tutorial is going to be so long, but I'm just a slow person. And what did I do? I'm going to try and speed this up a little bit. So let's do that. Here, this is the last one that I need to fix, I hope. And then... That. And then this should be normal, right? Yeah, it's normal. Okay. So, now... Basically have... Let's preview this real quick. Preview? That looks pretty cool, right? Wiggling. Let that render out so now we can play it and I can show you it. So then it fades out. And now, play. That's basically what it looks like. Pretty cool, right? Mm. Yeah. So that's what it would look like. Basically, that's the uh, cloud effect, and um, that's basically it. Um, if you want to render it out, Control Shift Slash. Uh, lossless with Alpha. I rendered EVI. EVI gives you the best quality, and then output wherever you want to render it. And um, um, blinds test, and we'll replace it. Then you click render. Um, I'll put a final example at the end of this, um, the better, like, I mean, like, a better O's sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, see you guys later.